are the rumors confirmed by Marie Osmond's daughter True. Today, we unveil the shocking truth as her daughter finally confirms them. From her early days in the spotlight to recent revelations about her bold decisions or got her bold decisions regarding wealth, Marie Osmond's life is truly inspiring. Before delving into these revelations, let's explore how Marie's upbringing and personal struggles shaped her views on wealth and family. Marie Osmond, born in 1959 in bustling Utah, grew up as the only girl among eight brothers. While childhood typically entails playdates and homework, Marie's journey diverged. Picture a young girl stepping into showbiz's dazzling world even before attending school. The Osmonds weren't just a family, they were a musical sensation rooted in Mormon faith. Marie's brothers, Alan, Wayne, Merrill, and Jay, initially sang together, later joined by Donnie and Jimmy turning performances into a family affair. In her book, Might As Well Laugh About It Now, Marie reveals how her parents dedicated everything to ensure top-notch training for her and her brothers. Each sibling had to learn an instrument. Marie chose the piano. At three years old, Marie made her television debut on the Andy Williams show with her brothers, sacrificing childhood moments for early fame. Despite sacrifices, she doesn't regret the journey but acknowledges its pressure, forcing her to mature quickly. In Behind the Smile, Marie reflects on feeling like a commodity rather than a child. A harrowing incident at age 11 during a commercial shoot in Japan saw her thrown into shark-infested waters when their boat capsized. After a miraculous rescue, she was immediately back to work, battling severe dehydration and blistering sunburn. The recording studio was similarly harsh, marginalizing her ideas and feelings, exacerbating her body image issues and leading to an eating disorder. Transitioning to a new chapter in Marie Osmond's life, one that many aspire to but few attain. In 1976, at a mere 15 years old, Marie assumed the glittering role of co-host on her very own program, The Donnie and Marie Variety Show. It was a dream materialized, albeit accompanied by the weighty expectation of conforming to a certain standard of appearance. Within the pages of her heartfelt memoir, might as well laugh about it now, Marie offers a candid peek into this world. Picture the scenario. A teenage Marie standing amidst actresses, singers, and models, perceived as possessing everything she desired, particularly the 17-year-old Cheryl Ladd. When Marie and her brother graced the stage of the Sonny and Cher show, it evoked both awe and a profound blow to her self-esteem. The roster of guests on their show included luminaries like Jacqueline Smith, Cheryl Ladd, and Farrah Fawcett, fresh from her iconic red swimsuit poster fame. For Marie, sharing the limelight with these women, including the captivating Raquel Welch, posed a formidable challenge to her sense of self. However, among the myriad moments etched in her memory from this period, one stands out vividly, a stark confrontation with studio executives. In a scene seemingly plucked from a less enlightened era, they issued an ultimatum, shed ten LBs or risk cancellation of the show. Branded an embarrassment, Marie was admonished to steer clear of food. Taking those words to heart, Marie embarked on a challenging journey. Despite already weighing a slender 103 LBs, she succumbed to the pressure to shed more weight, plummeting to a mere 93 LBs. However, her chosen method was far from healthy. Marie endured a punishing regimen of starvation, subsisting solely on lemon water infused with cayenne pepper and maple syrup for days preceding show tapings, all in pursuit of the unattainable standard of extreme thinness. Yet, her weight struggles transcended adolescence, evolving into harrowing battles with anorexia and bulimia throughout adulthood. In 2018, Marie offered insights into these trials, unveiling deeper layers of her odyssey. Healing ensnared in various facets of her life, her eating disorders served as a desperate attempt to seize control amidst chaos. Marie's past bore another weighty burden, physical abuse endured during childhood. Beyond her eating disorder, she harbored a darker secret, one she courageously disclosed in her memoir. Childhood abuse, the magnitude of her suffering is difficult to fathom, yet she chose to share her story, hoping to illuminate the path for others grappling with similar ordeals. In a poignant episode of the talk in 2019, Marie further peeled back the layers of her past. 
Reflecting on her traumatic experiences, she confessed to grappling with doubts about love and relationships, even at a tender age of eight or nine. This revelation underscored the profound depth of her struggles and the enduring impact of the abuse she endured. Feeling detached from men and plagued by incessant comparisons to other girls due to the lingering scars of her past trauma, Marie discovered solace and encouragement in the nurturing bond she shared with her father and brothers. Their kindness and understanding illuminated a different aspect of masculinity for her, fostering a shift in perspective. Through their unwavering love and support, Marie gained the resilience to confront her insecurities and fully embrace her authentic self. Despite the challenges of her youth, Marie navigated through various highs and lows in her romantic endeavors. The visibility of television certainly had its advantages, particularly in garnering the attention of notable figures. Marie disclosed that during the late 1970s, she went on dates with several individuals, although she chose not to publicize these relationships. Notably, among her memorable encounters was with Michael McDonald, the gifted vocalist from the Doby Brothers, who Marie confessed was likely her inaugural significant crush. Marie also reminisced about the late Andy Gibb, a sensation in the music industry. She couldn't contain her fondness when speaking of him, expressing how much she adored him. Then there's David Cassidy, the heartthrob from the TV series The Partridge Family. Given their shared success as singers and TV stars, one might assume they were a perfect match. Marie revealed that seemingly everyone had a crush on David. However, upon getting to know him better while recording in the same studio, she had a change of heart. With a laugh, she amusingly confessed. I looked at him and said, It's not gonna happen. His butt's smaller than mine. Not gonna do it. And just like that, she passed on what could have been a match made in showbiz heaven. In 1982, at the age of 22, Marie walked down the aisle with her boyfriend, Steve Craig. Unfortunately, their marriage was short-lived, as Marie filed for divorce just three years later. However, love found its way back to her in 1986, when she married Brian Blossel. This marriage endured longer, and they were blessed with seven beautiful children. Yet even the most promising unions can face challenges, and by 2005, signs of strain began to emerge. It was a frightening year for Marie and her family. While she was away in California for a speaking event, their Utah home caught fire. Brian, her then husband, was home with some of their children when the blaze erupted. Thankfully, he managed to evacuate everyone safely, but the incident deeply shook them. For Marie, the fire served as a wake-up call, prompting her to reassess her life. She realized that despite the outward appearance of a cozy home, her marriage harbored years of discontent. In her heart, she interpreted the fire as a sign, a celestial message urging her to enact change. Thus, in March 2007, less than two years later, Marie and Brian announced their decision to part ways. Life, however, often unfolds unexpectedly. In 2011, Marie remarried, but this time to Steve Craig, her first husband from whom she had divorced in 1985. It was a surprising twist in her narrative, seemingly guided by a higher force. Marie believed that life unfolds according to divine timing, with no accidents, only orchestrated events. Throughout her personal journey's peaks and valleys, her steadfast role as a mother remained unwavering. Marie is the proud mother of eight children spanning nearly two decades, from her eldest born in 1983 to her youngest in 2002. Her motherhood journey, like many women's, was fraught with challenges. After her first six children's births, Marie experienced what's commonly known as the baby blues. However, it was after welcoming her son Matthew in 1999 that she grappled with severe postpartum depression. In a 1999 TV Guide interview, Marie candidly shared her ordeal, recounting days of exhaustion and debilitating muscle spasms that left her bedridden. The stress reached a breaking point, leading her to leave her children with a babysitter and drive aimlessly. Upon her return, she received a diagnosis of depression. In a 2010 conversation with Oprah Winfrey, Marie divulged her darkest moments, including contemplating suicide during her postpartum depression episode. Yet, 
her inner resilience prevailed, dispelling such thoughts as far from reality. In August 2006, rumors circulated about Marie's hospitalization with some speculating a suicide attempt. However, her spokesperson clarified that it resulted from an adverse medication reaction causing blackouts. Though sparse on details, her manager assured the public she was fine, taking time off with her family. In 2017, Marie experienced another health scare on live TV during Dancing with the Stars, fainting after a samba performance. Ever resilient, she bounced back with a quip about fainting on live television, injecting humor into the tense moment. However, the incident prompted Marie to reassess her health, spurred further by her son's desire for her presence in his future. This led her to partner with Nutrisystem, embarking on a weight loss journey that saw significant results by the end of her Dancing with the Stars stint. Despite her numerous successes, Marie has encountered profoundly challenging times, with the loss of her son Michael being the most devastating blow. Michael struggled with depression and despite his assurances not to attempt anything drastic, he couldn't find relief from his anguish. Marie was just moments away from going on stage with her brother Donnie when she noticed a missed call from Michael, unable to answer in time. Upon returning the call, she received the heart-wrenching news from the coroner's office. Michael's death was attributed to multiple blunt traumas from a fall, Surprisingly, no drugs or alcohol were found in his system. Marie was shattered by the loss of her son, grappling with the harsh reality of his absence and the note he left behind detailing his struggles. In addition to Michael's passing, Marie endured the loss of several other family members over the years. Her mother, Olive, passed away in 2004 after battling a stroke, followed by her father, George, three years later, who lived to the age of 90. The pain of losing a parent is never easy to bear. Tragedy continued to afflict the Osmond family. In 2014, Marie's brother, Jay, suffered the tragic loss of his seven-year-old granddaughter in a devastating accident involving a moving truck, reopening wounds of past losses. Then, in 2022, the little girl's father, Chris Mortensen, was fatally shot in a senseless act of road rage. Adding to the sorrow, Marie's nephew passed away unexpectedly in 2018, likely due to an undiagnosed medical condition. The following year, she disclosed the health challenges her family endured, with her brother Verl suffering a stroke, brother Tom undergoing a quadruple bypass, and Jimmy also experiencing a stroke. Even Donnie, her cherished brother, faced surgery. The cumulative stress and worry during family gatherings must have been immense. However, Marie draws strength from her unwavering faith, which has been a guiding force for her and her loved ones during the darkest moments. In an interview, she reflected, I faced a lot of loss and hardships in my life, but I truly believe that faith can carry you through even the toughest of times. Despite the challenges they've faced, Marie still maintains her sense of humor. During a 2019 episode of Watch What Happens Live, she hinted at the possibility of her and Donnie retiring from their Vegas show. We're thinking maybe this year, but who knows, she teased, jokingly adding, you know Donnie's getting old. Initially intended as a six-week engagement at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino, Donnie and Marie's Vegas show became a sensation, running for an impressive 11 years. However, they bid farewell to Vegas by the end of 2019, sparking rumors of tension between them. But they swiftly dispelled these rumors the following year in the most heartwarming manner. When Donnie performed his solo show in Las Vegas, Marie stood by his side, just like old times. Donnie expressed his joy to fans, saying, Together again. Words can't even begin to describe how amazing it felt to have my sweet sister join me at my show. Shortly before her final performance with Donnie, Marie joined the talk as a co-host, replacing Sarah Gilbert. After a year of entertaining audiences, she decided to take a break to spend more quality time with her husband, Steve Craig, and their children. With her youngest children off to college, Marie and Steve found themselves alone, perhaps for the first time in decades. So she bid farewell to the talk, embracing the opportunity to reconnect with Steve and their extended family. However, Marie's career is far from over. She's wowed audiences on Broadway, starred in TV commercials, and even penned a few books. And guess what? 
She's still buzzing with excitement about performing, especially knowing her grandkids are cheering her on from the audience. Marie's not just a stage sensation. She's dipped her toes into acting and even graced the dance floor on Dancing with the Stars. Plus, she's not just about the glitz and glam. Marie is also a savvy businesswoman known for her beautiful QC porcelain dolls. With all these ventures, it's no surprise her net worth is sky-high, reportedly more than $20 million. Her wealth is bound to increase over time because she's still thriving and putting in the effort in showbiz. But here's the shocking fact. Marie's not leaving her kids a fortune. Yep, you heard it right. She's breaking the mold of wealthy celebrities by choosing not to leave her seven children hefty inheritances. Marie believes that simply handing over your hard-earned cash to your kids isn't doing them any favors. She thinks it's like robbing them of the chance to learn the value of hard work. She has seen how children from wealthy families often struggle to find their way in life. Instead of leaving her riches to her children, Marie plans to give them to charity. Despite facing some criticism from her co-hosts on the talk and online, Marie is proud of her decision. She sees it as giving her children the gift of independence and resilience, something money can't buy. She is happy about the fact that each of her kids has found their path, loving what they do for a living. Even as her daughter confirms the rumors, Marie remains a steadfast presence in her children's lives when it truly matters. Take, for example, her daughter Jessica. Amidst swirling rumors, Jessica courageously acknowledged her sexual orientation. Despite the traditional beliefs within her faith, Marie unwaveringly stood by Jessica's side, demonstrating that her love and support transcend any boundaries. Jessica, adopted by Marie and her former husband Brian at the tender age of two, has since discovered her own happiness, exchanging vows with her beloved Sarah. Thus, Marie's choice not to simply bestow her wealth upon her children isn't indicative of a lack of care, quite the contrary. She epitomizes the essence of motherhood, celebrating her children's triumphs and offering solace during their trials, all the while instilling in them the virtues of self-reliance and diligence. And if you found this story touching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming tales and insightful updates.